<laughs> so good. Yeah, you know, signed. It's good. Yeah, I've been signed mine on the back there. Oh, that's sweet, man. Yeah, dude, I'm like, I know these things aren't gonna go. All right, man. Ready? It's not in there. Yeah, let's do it. But still, it's intimidating. Oh yeah, rolling, rolling, rolling. I think so. Yeah, we're rolling. Right, guys. Well, welcome to Play Show West. First time in Salt Lake City. Super stoked to be here. Home state for myself. So, anyway, let's get some new stuff. Want some new stuff? We all want some new stuff. Okay, this one's one of the new ones that we're a lot of people were skeptical about, but we've had a lot of good comments. This is like a two position slip joint friction. Hard to explain, I guess, but Whoa. we'll be stored in a That's dagger cool. position well, and in the so sheath. That's how it kind of stores in the sheath. Awesome. Pull it out, and they can go to like a fixed blade yeah, spot right here. So you're not going to close on your fingers just because when you put that finger right here, your index finger, you won't be able to close on your fingers. So you'll be able to stay, use it for your small cutting task, and be able to put it away just fine. Anyway, so this is the typist. And is that one released yet? Yes, that one is, is available to be purchased. We will be going over a few prototypes that you will see here on the table, but some of these have been released. Another nice one right here, we got the Vision R by Snex. So this one feature, uh, features Snex is, uh, I'm not sure what he, I can't remember the lock name right now, but very similar back lock. Is it the Super Lock? Super Lock, yes, you're right. So Super Lock right here by Snex. This does and sometimes will pop out, but that was done intentionally for cleaning purposes, right? But then once you get a nice good hang of that that lock, you can open, I mean, flick it open really easily. It does have the pocket clip that, right here on the side. The so you can see that. <laughs> anyway, these are out on the market. And these will be running, depending on the model you get, this one's fancy, so it has like that flame tie and black blade. This one's running for three, 340, so. Right. This guy, this was a fun one just because this one came out just for the Blade Show and Show Specials type of stuff. It's called, I gotta remember the name. The Cherith? No, no, this is not the Cherith. Are you talking about the Cherith? I'm pretty sure, oh, it's the Cherith. Because they have the Shraken. It's very similar, so that's why I got confused. But these ones came out just for the shows and they're all limited edition ones. So this one has a very straight lines to it. <laughs> has a unique fish scale kind of milling to it. And the really cool two-tone uh, anodizing. Probably looking at a three-inch blade on there, flipper, and it is a frame lock. So super fun, that's the same thing with the Chicon. Frame lock, flipper, and this one just kind of differs. You kind of going from round, contour scales, so on and so forth. Awesome. And these ones are available here at the show, and then will be available uh, at dealers after the like show. Now, this one's going to be a fun one. I don't know if you guys remember the Spree. So it's a Ray Laconico design. This one's going to be the newest design from him. Still featuring the front flipper, frame lock, and does have a thumb stud as well. So you do have the, the fidgetability with the thumb stud and front flipper. Um, this one will be running for about 220. Alright, these last two right here are prototypes. So you should be seeing here in the next couple of months or beginning next year. This one's a Peter Carey design. So you're gonna get some nice hints of his stuff, like for example like that spider coat Rubicon. This one has nice smudge on top, nice long belly, but still very pocket friendly. You're looking at a subframe lock on here, just because you don't have the full frame that's exposed. The scale is covering some of that frame. Um, this one does is activated by the thumb stud and your flipper, so you can choose your poison on that one. Next one. This one's designed by uh, Brian Brown knives. So this is one of the first collaborations we've done with Brian Brown. Features a nice titanium scale with some small speed holes for unique design, as well as this nice long blade. This does feature a two uh, double grind blade, so it has a hollow grind right here and then a flat grind right there. And this one will be activated by the thumb stud, thumb stud only. And so yeah, you should be seeing this in retailers in the next couple of months or so. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, man. 
pleasant there? Uh, yeah.